Well, this is, um, it's the hottest day of the year. We are here live at Chateau Erlen, and these are my, this is my fantasy th trio for summer drinking. And uh, Nikki, in fact, Nikki, come and join me. Let's, uh, let's have a, Thank let's you, have a tasting. Thank you. Um, right. I'd like to start with uh, an old friend of ours, Chateau Saint-Martin. You, I know, have stayed been, you've stayed at the Chateau. Amazing. So, a, an amazing wine, uh, and we are so thrilled. This is the 1990 vin 1919 vintage, sorry. Only bottled in April, so really fresh. Um, the Chateau is, uh, go, dates back to 1740, and it's been in the same family since all that time. All, all female generations. All please. females, absolutely. So the Can Countess Adeline, uh, we're delighted. This is our 10th consecutive vintage. We buy the wine because of the quality. So let's do some tasting here. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Because you know, I think sometimes, Chris, wine can be quite intimidating. And it's making it real, it's making it accessible, isn't it? For, for all. Absolutely. This is tasting so well. Here we've got a, a blend of Grenache and Mourvedre. These are the two classic grapes for Provence. And you might notice this unique bottle. This is what they call a Bouteille Provençale, the original Provence bottle. Rarely seen uh, and worth looking for. And uh, you might also be interested to know Chateau Saint-Martin is one of a very few chateaux which has got a crew oh. class A. So there's only about 20, 23, 23 yeah. yeah. These are the, this is the, the best of the best. I encourage you, taste it with us. Um, what, what are your tasting? How, how do you think it's showing? You know, um, I think with rosé, I think rosé sometimes gets quite a bad rap. This is phenomenal. I mean, I love white, I love red, I love rosé. For, for me, this is just crisp. You can, sm you can smell the strawberries. You know, it's beautiful, isn't it, with with uh, um, fish. Yeah, amazing. I've tried many nights with you with this. Yes. Now, uh, so yeah, fresh, crisp, and, uh, and, and, and exciting. So there we go. Um, I've then highlighted uh, a white burgundy from, our, from the wonderful Vallo family. They've been making wines for over 150 years in Bone. And the good news for us is they've got extensive vineyards throughout the whole of Burgundy, um, from village level to Grand Cru level. And uh, we are, again, this is a trip, you must join us. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna go to Burgundy. Um, this is their, literally, this is their exclusive uh, domain uh, from the Cote Chalonnaise, a Montagny Premier Cru, uh, the 2017 vintage. You know when you say Premier Cru, what does that mean? So, um, well basically in, in this appellation we have the village wines, they tend to be uh, at roadside level. The Premier Crus are south facing right. hillsides, yeah. so further up the slopes, better sun exposure. So typically quality wise you're going to get riper grapes which make richer wines, with wines with more uh, personality. So again, let's taste. Mm. Stunning. Lovely. Very powerful. Here the balance between the fruit and the acidity I think is perfect. Kind of, it's all tingling in the mouth. Um, rich, full-bodied, amazing wine. And um, yeah, we have the full range of, of fallow in stock. And uh, we, we, I really, the, these wines are, are in Howard's heart, in my heart, and uh, they are addictive. You will love, love those. So there we go, we have rosé and, um, and then our white burgundy. And in red wine, wow, what can you say about Val Duero? Again, a winery that you have visited. And yeah, two amazing sisters that founded the winery in the early 1980s and they've now built up a world-class reputation for one of the top top 
bodegas in the whole of, of, of Spain. But we're delighted to, uh, to offer their Ses Años, a Six Años wine, which means the wine's had three years in the barrel and three years in the bottle. Here we have a wine with, this is, this is the 2010 vintage, so it's actually seven years in the bottle. And oh my days, wait, wait till you taste this, it's amazing. You know, I was thinking when we visited, uh, we were lucky. Was the harvest a little bit later last year? So we were able to see. Yeah, we were there on the 4th of October. How, yeah. how could I, I, I forget? We had, we had a busload of 30 clients and we arrived at 12 noon. And I think we left there, uh, staggered out there at about 9 p.m. Amazing visit. Yes, that, that was a late harvest. With the must and the Yeah, grapes, yeah, we yeah. tasted the wine straight out of the out, out of the tanks. So this is a very mellow, soft, mature red wine. Um, it's ten years old. It's delicious. It's um, this is finesse, elegance, aroma. It is absolutely a stunning wine and. Um, I, this is this would always be on our highly recommended list here. We are so lucky to work with these people, and these I think offer just amazing quality. What would you serve that with, as far as a special dish? So th this is a wine. Um, I always works lamb. Is yeah. lamb is absolutely you know the, the the perfect partner. But I think it would work with most roast meats. Yeah. Um, and even, you know, as a, as a posh barbecue wine, I mean, it's delicious, but uh, with, with game, um, casseroles, um, lovely. A wine with endless layers of fruit in the mouth. It's just got this, this great thing that wine has where it stays with you. And um, certainly, as we know, the, the hospitality at the bodega matches the quality of the, of the wine. glass. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.